Howdy everyone from Long Haul. Uh, this is my attempt at doing a not so long, not so entirely boring tour. Uh, August 15th, 2017, the annual tour. This year I decided to do the tour while we're actually growing stuff. And I got my co-pilot Sylvan here. How's it going Sylvan? Doing good? Yep. So we got some chard and some uh, kale and collards and broccoli and all kinds of stuff going on in our raised beds here, some sunflowers, um, cabbage. Uh, I don't know exactly how many raised beds we have now, something like 15 or 17 or something like that. Uh, the strawberry patch did well this year. That uh, I was harvesting quite a bit of strawberries for a little bit there. Um, we've got some chamomile and some tomatoes over here. Um, there's uh, some Brussels sprouts, two beds of Brussels sprouts, and the birds. Hello, birds. How's it going? We got 20 something, I don't know, 28 chickens now, something like that. Um, there's another strawberry patch. Here's the walking onions. Uh, here's the, the greenhouse, the new greenhouse edition, which we started all of our seeds in this year. And it's, uh, well, I finished it before the winter and it held up to the snow well, but uh, needs to be insulated. Uh, it's not insulated at all. Uh, and we were heating it through our house, uh, through the window. And yeah, it was uh, didn't work very well without insulation. So I'm going to put some plastic up over here and some pink foam or something down there. But uh, yeah, it should work better this year. Still worked. We just had to burn a lot of wood and uh, bring things in and out of the house. Here's the rock garden with... Uh, some of the strawberries got eaten up real bad by the voles in this area uh, in the winter. Um, I got an apple tree planted there in the back. I think it was. Here's another apple tree. This is a pretty flower. Um, here's the greenhouse, the hoop house. It's uh, we got this up this spring. We got the plastic on, and I don't know if you can see with this terrible lighting, but oh yeah, there we go. There's uh, a lot of tomatoes hanging from the vine here. So, doing pretty good on that. Got some ground cherries over there. I got Sylvan reaching for green tomatoes there. Uh, and some basil here. I've been harvesting a lot of basil. And yeah, we got some more tomatoes over here that are just not doing as much, but we kinda, yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll it's uh, little by little. So, then we got the four plum trees here now. These cages here and that one right there that, and then uh, we thought it died, but it didn't. Um, some nettles uh, mulched the paths here, and we've got all kinds of stuff going on in here. We've got some squash and like a tomato. I think we we just put like all the stuff we didn't know we had extras of, like in this general area. But yeah, that's a plum. That's a plum. It's an apple, a cherry tree back there. Here's our garlic rose. Um, another apple. Another apple. Uh, we thought we dug up all the Jerusalem artichokes last year, but we didn't quite. And some of them are really thriving in this area. Oh yeah, we spread a bunch of chickadee, uh, chicken bedding in there and stuff's just loving it. It's great. Um, and then you can see the outside of our hoop house. Um, yeah, another apple tree over in that corner. Uh, these are some ligon berries that are surviving but not growing very quickly. The rabbits were eating them really bad when we first transplanted them. Uh, got a bunch of currants planted in here. You can't see them yet. Here, I'll zoom in on one. Uh, this is a gooseberry, I think. Currants and gooseberries. We planted about 20 or so varieties. There's some berries on that one already. Uh, transplanted this spring. We got some broadcast turnips and radishes, random radishes here and there. Uh, these Juneberry trees that used to be here got girdled really bad by rabbits or something this winter. Oh, and then we got more Jerusalem artichokes coming up there. Um, but then they, they, they're they sprouting back up, so that's good. They're suckering up. This one didn't quite girdle as bad, but it's still alive. There's the rhubarb. Here's our currant that's doing just awesome. So, yeah, like I said, 20 different varieties of currants. And there's a turnip that was just a broadcast seed that it's like the size of like my head almost it's crazy there's a couple really big ones here that's uh they're planted in the uh 
yeah, chickadee doo doo area the, from our uh, chickens. That's a very fertile area. Some oregano there and random onion sets and all kinds of stuff in here. Um, then we got the, we just took down the uh, uh, sugar snap peas uh, off the, uh, this trellis here. And we got rows of green beans here. We actually, this was where we grew. We got a mint patch here and there. This is where we grew our squash. We had this big mound last year and we flattened it all out and moved some of the dirt to different raised beds in different areas. And uh, then we dug holes in the rows like a foot deep and then filled them with mulch. And yeah, we've been, we got the chipper last year, been doing a ton of mulch a ton of chipping. We got piles everywhere, separating hardwood and softwood. Not sure if that does anything, but we'll, uh, we're using the softwood for paths and the hardwood more to try to build soil around the fruit trees and stuff like that and top feed. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that I didn't really show on this tour, but you can watch past tours if you're really interested. Most of it's in past tours. There's an empty woodshed. It'll be full soon. There's a full woodshed, another full woodshed. Another full woodshed, another full woodshed, another full woodshed, and one more full woodshed on the end there. Oh yeah, there's Damien's tiny house that he's building. It's, uh, you know, he's got the, he's getting pretty close to the roof there. So, he'll get it on before winter. It's only August. Right back here, we have the outdoor bathing area. The shower, gravity feed shower, and the bathtub that we have a fire under, and then get it hot. And then we also are... We've got some uh, shiitake inoculated logs, um, logs that we uh, are trying to grow shiitake mushrooms out of. Um, and that little thing right there is our future well. Right now it's just a really, really deep, like 600 foot deep, really expensive dry hole uh, with a pipe in it, uh, part of it. So we haven't hit water yet and uh, we're going to get water out of it somehow. but. It's, uh, anyway, that's what's going on with that. Sound is going to be right here. Uh, did some clearing around this area and scooped out some, uh, stumps with the excavator. Uh, family that's staying with us is, uh, building a house, uh, or going to be building a house, uh, possibly this winter, possibly next year, uh, to stay in and right over here. And so been milling a whole bunch of dimensional lumber for that house, for a stick frame house. Uh, I got a bunch of balsam logs over here, almost all balsam, a few spruces here and there. All the foundation holes I've dug, usually I just hit bedrock and it's not this crazy, but I don't know if you can see there, but there's like 45 degree angles, like there, there, that's like a probably 70 degree angle. Uh, over there, it's a steep angle. So we kept, where we wanted to put these forms, we kept hitting these really steep angles of rock or like it got really deep there anyway we got it string lined out and we got it figured out but we're trying to figure out how to cut the forms to to the shape of the rock and it's a pain in the butt so i don't know we'll get the foundation done this year and then we'll see what's going on and yeah you can see this is right next to the a-frame where the family is staying and uh over there we got uh their tents over there and my kids are playing with their kids over in the tent um, and a big dirt pile. That's been a big hit with the kids. It's been awesome. There's those cedar logs again. That's where our house will be. Kind of southwest facing. This is southwest facing down the slope there. Towards the gardens and towards the future orchard, which will be kind of in front of it. And there's the, where the, the family's house will be. And our house is over here. And it'll all be facing the orchard. There's another apple tree. Uh, there's another apple tree there. There's a grapevine. Planted some blackberries here this year as well. Um, so this is the uh, winter firewood for our friends who just had a baby and are building yurt. And here's their uh, here's the yurt platform. Um, and yeah. so we got a couple more raised beds here. Three more raised beds with some kale and. Some cabbage and some chard and some broccoli and 
onions. Amelia started these onions from seed, and they're freaking huge. They're like on the size of onions, and it's only August 15th. This is great. It's pretty awesome. Um, and two, two beds of onions. Uh, there's our hugel bed that we made a few years back. Did green beans in it last year. This year's squash. The squash seems to be loving it. Um, it's really taken off. And I'm seeing some seeing some squashes there. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah, there's some squash. Uh, the zucchini's been going nuts, of course. Right about that time of year. Oh yeah, that's, that one's getting pretty close. Um, then we got a honeyberry there. Uh, another honeyberry. We planted like seven more honeyberries. So this one we planted th two or three years ago. Eh, two years ago, I think. So we planted one, two, three, four, five, six more. There's an apple tree. There's an apple tree. There's an apple tree that's struggling. There's an apricot um, that's also kind of died. The top of it died off in the winter, but it seems to be coming back all right. Uh, more currants, more varieties of currants. There's a, you can't really see them that well, but we planted like 10 currants in this garden and 10 in the other garden, something like that. Uh, there's an apple tree that's doing awesome with apples on it. This is one of the first apple trees we planted three or four years ago. I can't remember. Uh, and this is the other one that was one of the first ones we planted. Look at that. There's that squash coming, just going all over the path and everything. The blueberries. Uh, we have like 30 blueberry plants or something like that now in three rows. So hope you can see this because I can't see it very well. So uh, they've got some blueberries on them. I don't know if you can... Yep, blueberries. My kids have been harvesting them. Um, there's a volunteer Juneberry. Uh, there's another apple tree, another apple tree. Uh, raspberries, ripe raspberries. Oh boy. I've been eating tons of raspberries the past few days. Here you go, Sylvan. Yep, yum. Um, you can pretty much fill up on them every day. So we got three rows of raspberries. This was this, this was, or no, four rows. This was the original thing we established in this garden. And we've just been, this, these rows of raspberries, and we've been expanding from there. So four rows of raspberries, uh, three rows of blueberries. There's the other blueberries in here. Then uh, mulch in between in the path. Um, back here, we have a couple, um, there's another apple tree, a couple of uh, ronia berry there, ronia berry here, two cultivated June berries, another apple tree. Um, we did like, I don't know, probably like half of this planting in the last year. There's another uh, gooseberry or currant, there's another one hidden under there. Uh, there's catnip and walking onions and comfrey and lovage and there's our original current plant right there all surrounding this apple tree which all kind of have a symbiotic relationship there's another big current plant under that apple tree and there's another grape on the grape arbor that i think i made last year and i don't remember if that was part of the tour but um oh and there's a random squash here that's cool um and uh yeah another apple tree uh there's another one of those June cultivated June berries. We got a sea berry there. Uh, another apple tree. Uh, apple tree that Amelia grafted. More currants. N another apple tree. Another apple tree. There's one more apple tree you can't see over there. It's uh, yeah, it was mostly the food tour. That part of it at least. Uh, might do a little bit more. What do you think, Sylvan? Pretty good tour. I wasn't quite as long-winded as usual, right? Yeah, hopefully not. I don't know how anyone could possibly listen to me for more than five minutes. So, okay. I guess that uh, concludes this portion of the Long Haul 2017 tour. I'll probably be doing my tours from now on in the summer when we're actually growing things. Because um, it's kind of, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's more fun that way, I think. So, uh, yeah, you want to say... Uh, Want to say bye bye from Long Haul? Bye bye. All right. Bye everyone. Oh, and if you have any questions about anything, um, just look up my website. I think it's there's a link to it on the YouTube page. 
because I can't answer comments because Google is annoying. And uh, so don't comment. Just email me or something. Figure it out. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Right. Bye-bye.